reduce family energy costs for folks with low and moderate incomes today, the Environmental Protection Agency will invest $7 billion from our Inflation Reduction Act and a new program called Solar for All. As President Biden today commemorating Earth Day, new research suggests that the $7 billion President Biden just announced for solar panels won't do anything to help slow climate change. Since coming into office, Mr. Biden has proposed electric vehicles, regulating gas stoves, tax breaks for up to $3,200 for insulating your home. Todd Myers is the author of Time to Think Small, How Nimble Environmental Technologies Can Solve the Planet's Biggest Problems. He's an environmental researcher from Seattle. It's good to talk to you, Todd. Thank you. I, look, and we got to sort of separate two things, right? Yes, the climate is changing. Anybody can, agree, can reasonably agree on that. Um, why? There's certain explanations in terms of that there's the greenhouse effect that's part of it's cyclical on and on. And now we're to the discussion of what to do about it. Is there any evidence that all of these proposals, all of these billions, trillions of dollars we're spending, is there any evidence that it's actually going to do anything? It may do something, but the fact is, is that there's a lot of waste in there. Right? EV subsidies primarily go to the wealthy and often to people who would have purchased electric vehicles anyway. So what additional CO2 reduction are we getting? Not very much. For rooftop solar, it's much the same. The U.S. Energy Information Administration and other analysts note that rooftop solar is the least efficient source of electricity. So even if you're concerned about climate change or want to spend money, government money, to reduce CO2 emissions, you would never put it on rooftop solar if your goal was to maximize CO2 reduction. So that's why I think a lot of the things that we do are based more in politics and image than they are in environmental results. All right, so you think about how long this conversation has been going on, right? It goes all the way back. Actually, the earliest clip we found was the year I was born. I will date myself, 1982, and you will recognize the anchor. About rising temperatures on planet Earth heated up a hearing here in Washington today. For years, scientists have theorized about the dangers of the so-called greenhouse effect the warming of the Earth's atmosphere due to the burning of coal and oil. If these scientists are correct, about 25% of Florida would be flooded, along with low-lying areas all over the world. Okay, uh, Florida's still around. Uh, so I, how did we get from there to here? Florida's still not underwater, and yet we don't seem to have any better understanding of what to do and the thing the the proposals you've made that could actually help number one and number two are more cost efficient well, i think we do have a very good understanding and there are metrics and ways to measure but the problem is that government and political approaches that's not how they're measured they're measured primarily with how it makes me feel you know how it makes politicians look and so that's why again we do things like solar and evs but a lot of analysis has been done about where you get the most bang for the buck. And a lot of times where you get the most bang for the buck are in individual, small actions, actions that not only reduce CO2 emissions, but actually save you money. One of the most simple is simply shifting how you use electricity so that you're not using it when it is most expensive from four to seven in the evening to either earlier or later, because not only is that electricity the most expensive, it's the most carbon intensive. We know that these things can be done. We know that they're effective, but it's pretty boring and mundane compared to EVs and solar panels. Interesting. All right, Todd, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll keep following the money. I know you will um, as well. Yeah, boring and mundane doesn't work as well in, uh, in ads or in swing states. Thank you, sir. We'll talk to you soon. We wrote about this Thanks, first on War Notes. That's our daily newsletter. It comes out every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. It gives you our look at the most important stories of the day, some interesting conversations. You can respond either to the email or at Leland Vittert on Instagram and on Twitter, warnotes.com to subscribe. In Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.